It's a beautiful day in the paper pond. Turtles are sunning themselves on rocks and on logs. And the frogs love to sit on their lily pads and sometimes they even hop. Everybody is happy and having fun. Hi, I'm Nan. So what do you say? Are you ready to make some 3D turtles and some jumping frogs and a pond for them to live in? Your kit has an instruction book with lots of pictures, but I'm here to give you tips as well. Now you can make these things exactly the way I do, or you can make them in any way you can think of. Your kit comes with a lot of the things you need to make your creatures, but you are also going to need some materials from home. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need clear tape and maybe a glue stick. You'll need a sharpened pencil with an eraser and some things like crayons or markers to color with, extra paper, especially recycled paper, is always useful. And it's always important when you do crafts to have a way to protect your surface that you're working on so you don't make a mess. I use a big wide sheet of paper. If you've got your supplies, we can start creating. We're going to begin by making the turtle shell. You've got two different turtle shells in your kit. One is a plain circle with a few faint lines to help guide you, and they have little places where you're going to make cuts. And you also have a one that's sort of like a coloring book. It's got segments that you can color in. I've already started coloring this with crayon. Yours will come like this and you will have to cut out the circle in the end. But they both work the same way. And another way you can make a turtle is how I'm going to do it now. I am going to use my own piece of paper and trace around the template. And these little lines here are where the cuts are going to be and I've put a little, a little mark by those so I know where they are. And then I'm left with this circle, which I can cut out and then make a shell out of. So I have cut out my circle and I have cut the slits in where they go. And I am now ready to make this into a 3D turtle shell. And for that, I'm going to need tape. You can also use a glue stick. And if you don't want the tape to show on the top, what you can do is glue uh, and, and then tape it on the bottom. So I'm going to put tape on this one. And the way I do it is this. Each of these cuts is going to overlap the other side. And so I'm going to overlap it. I've overlapped it about that much. And I'm going to tape it. The more you over overlap it, the taller your turtle shell is going to be. And so I can do that with all of the sides. And I try and overlap it this, about the same amount every time. That's going to make him a little more even. And as you can see, I've already colored this with crayon. It's much easier to do when it's flat, a flat piece of paper. You can use crayon, you can use marker, anything you want. So now I have my turtle shell all made. And I'm just working on the feet, which I cut out of that piece we had with feet and head and all those things. And I've given him some toenails, but I'm also going to color with a little bit of crayon because there's crayon on the on the shell and I think it would look nice. I don't need to color too far because uh, only the bottom part of the feet are going to stick out. But I'm giving him a little bit of color and splash here with the crayon. A little bit of texture as well. And because this is purple, maybe I'll add a little purple too. And now I'm ready to tape the front and back legs in. 
I'm going to make a big piece of tape that'll cross through the middle of this and still have some room to stick to the tor tur turtle shell. And I'm going to stick it on the back of the legs because it's going to be glued, taped underneath the turtle. So I've got the tape on the legs and I'm going to stick it. I'm going to figure out where the front of the tortoise shell is. I think it's here. So I'm going to put his legs in and tape them on the bottom of the shell, like this. And now he's got front legs. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom. I make a pretty long piece of tape and I stick it right in the middle of that C shape that, that is the legs. And the sticky part is, is facing up. And then I'm gonna stick it inside the back of the tortoise shell. And there he has a shell and some legs now. I'm just finishing cutting out my neck and my head from my kit. We're going to start with the head, and it needs to be decorated a little bit because all this other stuff is colored with crayon. I think I should color the head too, and I'm going to make the head match with the legs. I think that's a good idea. And so I've got a blue crayon and a sort of a purple crayon and I'm just sort of scribbling on there. I'm going to put his eyes on later so now I'm ready to make his head 3D just like I did the feet. And I'm actually going to use a glue stick for this part because I don't really want a piece of tape right on top of his head. And this is right where his nose is going to be. So I see I turned this over because I made a mistake on the eyes, but you can always use the second side if you make a mistake on one side. So I am putting glue on these outside pieces here. I went ahead and colored my neck piece on the opposite side from the lines, just so it would match the feet and the head. So the first thing I'm going to do with this neck piece is fold it in half like this. So the colored part is on the outside and the part with the lines is on the inside. Just like that. Now, here's how this is going to go. This is going to go inside the head. The long part here is his neck. And we are going to tape this right inside his head. So I'm going to make a fairly big piece of tape. We don't mind if the tape is on the inside. It doesn't show. And I'm going to tape that neck piece in. Like that. Now, the neck piece is going to connect to the shell. And the way we do that is we figure out how long we want our neck to be. And then we put a bend where we want the neck to be connected to the shell. So I'm going to put the bend here. I've got a line in there for folding, but that makes a pretty long neck. And I want a shorter neck today. So I've got that bent. And so now that part is going to tape on the inside of the shell. So I'm going to make another big piece of tape. Not huge, just big enough that it's that it will cover this bent part of the neck and be able to tape to the shell. So I'm gonna tape that right to the inside like that. And we have the turtle looking around. How can he look around if he doesn't have any eyes? I'm gonna show you a trick for making two eyes so they're the same. All you need is a tiny piece of paper. And if you've been making crafts, you probably have lots of tiny pieces of paper and it doesn't even need to be white. It can be another color. So I'm going to make a white one though. And the first thing you do is fold it in half. So you got two exact same pieces here. And then you're going to take a pencil and draw in whatever kind of eye you want to draw in. And I'm going to draw an eye that looks sort of like that. He's going to be a lazy, sleepy turtle. So I'm going to go like that and I'm coloring it in. Later, I might come in with a marker 
But this pencil is pretty dark and nice. I'm going to give him some eyelashes too. And then I'm going to cut him out. Cut that eye out. And I'm cutting through both thicknesses of the paper because it's folded, remember. And when I'm done, if I've done it right, I have two pieces of paper that are the same. And let's see how I did. Here's the shape I drew in. Here's the other one. They're pretty close. So now I can finish by putting the same sort of eye coloring on the second eye. Don't forget his eyelashes. And I do want to go around here with a dark color too. And now I can take the glue stick and glue the eyes to each side of his head. Sometimes you get glue on you too. I guess that's part of the fun. Okay, so, ooh, he's got big eyes today. So I got an eye on that side. Can you see that? So now I'm going to put an eye on the other side and try and get it about the same place on the other side. And with glue stick, you do need to hold it for a minute because it, it doesn't stick instantly. So now I've got my turtle with his eyes. I think that's a little low, so I'm going to see if I can still peel it up. Okay, there he is. Maybe we'll give him a few nostrils so he can breathe. And there we have a turtle. The only thing he needs is a tail. If you've cut out the head and the legs and the neck, you have some extra pieces. And one of the pieces is actually quite tail shaped. And uh, if it isn't now, you can cut out a tail shape from that and tape it into your shell like this. And then I'm going to bend it up so that the tail sticks up. And this turtle is ready to roll. Our purple turtle is wondering where his frog friends are. And I need to tell him that we haven't made them yet, but we're about to. In your kit, you have two cards that we're going to use to make the frogs. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are some very faint fold lines on one side. And those are guidelines because this is a folding project. We're not going to use tape or glue or anything. Now, on the other side of the card, I have gone ahead and colored some froggy patterns. Uh, because that's the side that's going to be the top of the frog. This red one is uh, spotted, and this one has um, stripes that were painted in green. I used marker for both of these. So let's make the red one. So I'm going to turn this over. And these lines show you where you need to fold the card, but let me show you what the idea is so you can do it even without the lines. We are going to fold this corner up and over so that it lines up with the other side of the card. And we're going to make a point right there and we're going to make a nice crisp fold right along one of the lines. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other corner, the corner that now has a little crease in it. We're going to take that corner and we're going to line up, line it up with the other side of the card. And once I get it nice and lined up, I'm going to squish it down into a nice flat fold. Then I'm going to open it up. And as you can see, I have two fold marks that look like X's. There's one more line here that we need to fold. 
and it, it goes right through the middle of that X. So what we're going to do is going to take the top of the card and fold it down so that the two ends of each fold line meet each other, and it's going to be straight across like that. So that fold goes right through the middle of the cross between the two other fold lines. And I'm going to take that fold and fold it back the other way too, because that's the way it's actually going to be. I'm going to take my two fingers and I'm going to start pushing on that middle fold. Do you see how this piece of card is folding up? I'm pushing the, my fingers together and then finally I'm going to flatten it because it wants to go this way. Now this pointy part is going to be the frog's nose. And this part here is his front foot. What we're going to do is going to take this corner, which is his front foot, and bring it up to his nose like that. And it, there's a fold here, which I need to take my thumb and really squish down as flat as I can make it. Then this is his other foot. And we're going to bring it up to the nose and really squish that fold down. Now you've given the frog some front legs and they pop right back up and that's okay because that's going to help him hop later. Now we're going to take this side of the card and we're going to bend it toward the middle. And when we do, the top of it's going to line right up to the bottom of his little front foot. And I love it when you're folding things and they line up. You see how it just lines up and it's nice and flat. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other, th other side. And it's going to fit right in under the leg and right next to the other, the other flap over that we did. Now we've got a frog almost ready. He's just stretched out right now. Now this end is going to be his toes. We're going to bring his toes all the way up to his nose like that. And we're going to take our strong thumb and squish it down as much as we can. And then we're going to take his toes and bring them back to that fold we just made. And we're going to squish that fold down too. And when we're done, we, we loosen up his legs and his feet a little bit, and we have a little frog. And now we're going to make him hop. I'm going to take a finger and push down on his behind, and then go like this, and whoink, he hops. You also have a few lily pads in your kit, which you can decorate any way you want to. I put some lines on mine and a template to make grass for your creatures to hide behind. Few ways to make logs for them to sit on and even a rock. And I will show you how to do that. My new turtle is very happy on the rock I just made him and I'm going to show you how to make a rock for your turtle. The idea for how to make this rock 3D is the same as the idea for how to make the turtle 3D. But the difference between the rock and the turtle is that the turtle has a nice even shape and the rock is a little bit irregular. So when you start the turtle shell, you have cut marks that are equally distant apart from each other and you try and make them as even as possible when you overlap them. With a rock, you want to be uneven. But you do start with a circle. This is my beginning of a rock, and I cut this out of a paper shopping bag. And instead of cutting four nice regular cuts, I cut one, two, three, four, five cuts. And they, they're not necessarily the same length. Some are longer than the others. And I'm going to take my tape and I am going to overlap them, but I'm not going to try and overlap the same amount each time. I'm going to make them different from each other. And that will give me a nice, lumpy, realistic looking rock. You'll notice that I colored this bag with crayon already. Because um, it's easier to cut when it's flat. 
and I overlap those quite a bit. So I'm going to overlap this only a little bit and then I'll make it a little shallower. This. And if you want to, you can glue this and tape it on the bottom if you don't like the tape to show. That's up to you. And this is a taller rock, and I think it's going to be a hit. There we go. Turtles and frogs also like to sit on logs that might be floating in the water or by the shore at, at a pond. And I'm going to teach you how to make two kinds. The first kind is pretty easy. There's a log shape in your templates, and it's got lines on it already, and all you need to do is color it more with crayons or markers or whatever you'd like, and cut it out, and then you have a nice flat log for somebody to sit on. But if you want to make it 3D like the turtle's sitting on, here's the way to do that. Now this is brown paper also made out of a bag, a shopping bag, and I have colored one side of it because it's easier to color when it's flat, and I'm going to turn it over and make some folds. I colored the other side first, but I, I realized I like the other side better. So I'm going to fold this over about this much on one side and about the same amount on the other side. This is so such an easy way to make something 3D. And I'm going to get a piece of tape, two pieces of tape, and I am going to take one of these folded pieces and overlap the other one. And when I do that, it makes this arch shape. So once I've got it overlapped the way I want it to be, I'm going to tape it on one end, and then I'm going to tape it on the other end, and I've got a nice log. And the frog will try the log. I've got quite a crowd gathered in my pond right now. I've got several turtles and several frogs. Uh, I want you to notice this frog. I'm kind of proud of this. Uh, I found an ad in a magazine for a watch, and it had a big round watch face in it, and I took that round watch face and made a turtle shell out of it. And I call him my time turtle. Now you have a couple of lily pads in your kit that you could decorate your pond with. And I want to show you one last thing. You could also put grass in your pond. Maybe the frogs want to hide in the grass. Anyway, it makes a nice atmosphere for them. And here's how you do that. All you need to do is cut some grassy shapes out of a piece of paper. They can be pointy and they can go different directions because grass does go different directions. And you can make a small one or a large one. There's a template for this in your kit, but I think you could probably figure out how to do it even without the template. So if I do this, I can, I can get two stands of grass out of it. So I've got this grassy shape on the top, and if I fold over the bottom, that makes the grass sit up so that this frog can hide behind it. Can you find the turtle hiding in the grass? I've had so much fun making these crafts with you, and now we can just relax and enjoy a day at the pond. See you next time.